So we are very excited for our next round of Kyoto Adventures because it includes two of the places that both of us are most excited for. Yours being the Arashiyama Bamboo Grove. And then mine being the Ryoanji <laughs> Temple. It's a gorgeous rock garden. Can't wait to walk around and just feel the zen. You just, you feel the zen on the streets so I can't even imagine what it's like in the garden, you know? I feel like I vibe with these people really well because, oh, the sun. I, I feel like I, <laughs> I feel like I vibe with these people really well because they eat ice cream all day. Oh yeah, you do vibe. And that just kind of hits home for me, I get that. Yeah. You know? And I get drinking matcha five times a day, so I vibe with that as well. Yeah, it's just, it's good. I've never seen so much bamboo in my life. And not this kind either. We have the like wimpy kind at home. Right, no, it's so thick and the coloring is so much prettier here. Do you agree? I agree. So the bamboo area is pretty small, but the thing that's cool about it is it's an all year thing. It's green all year. It pops out into this area that is probably super pretty in the fall. It's just bare right now, but the bamboo is always there. So if you're here in the winter, it looks just as good as it does in the summer. Yeah, it's cool to see. It's an easy train ride to get out to and just, it's so relaxing. I have never been to a place that is like so calm everywhere you go. Yeah, for I... the most part, people respect that too. I feel like generally wherever you go, in other countries, tourists are super loud, but here it's just like everyone realizes that this is a zen place and is pretty respectful of it. Yeah, even on the trains, it's it's such a different culture than what we've been experiencing the past few months. You don't really talk, even if you're with a large group, you just kind of keep to yourself. So the trains are super quiet. Everyone just like lines up one behind another. No one's shoving you. <laughs> I mean, For how many is... people there are in this country, no one is shoving. No, it is such a respectful place and it is so refreshing. <laughs> it's so nice. It's so good. So we didn't get the Japan Rail Pass because just based on what we're doing, it didn't make sense. There's a seven day pass or a 14 and we're here for more than seven. So we would have had to pay for extra days anyway. And tonight we are actually taking an overnight bus, which sounds awful, but it is over a hundred dollars cheaper than the high speed rail. And we don't have to pay for a night of accommodation. So that's awesome. But the one mistake that we did make today is that there is a one day pass around Kyoto for the streetcars, And we just went on a streetcar to the bamboo forest. Then we took another one here. And after that, it would have made more sense to just do 500 yen for the day pass, whereas we've been paying in 240 yen increments and we still have to go home, so. It would have saved us like a dollar something each, but. Not a big deal, but learning as we go. Yeah. Do you 
feel the zen yet? Oh yeah. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> right, then you grab some of these. Just listen to the silence. We haven't had that very often. It was really nice. There are very few places I've ever been that I felt so, what's the word, cleansed. I was listening to this cute Japanese man next to me. He was speaking English to someone and he was explaining the way it makes him feel. And he was like, uh, it makes me feel like I'm praying on the inside, but I'm not praying. He was like, no. I don't know. It could be a prayer or anything, but I feel it on the inside. <laughs> I was that's like, that's yeah. true. It was so cute. That's accurate. <laughs> it felt like praying on the inside. <laughs> I don't know how you pray on the outside. That's a deep yeah. thought that I don't have the energy to get into right now. But it was beautiful. <laughs> okay, we're exploring the Nishiki shopping area of Kyoto. It seems pretty authentic, right? Yeah. So, we're gonna explore and find something to eat, maybe something to drink. I don't know. <laughs> the night is young. The night is young. Oh my gosh. Look at it's sizzling. What is going on? Oh, it does smell like barbecue. So it's like a breaded outside with an octopus inside. 
tentacles. <laughs> also, when I've had octopus before, it's, it's more of a texture thing than a taste thing. Did you feel it though? I feel it. Yeah. It's like a gummy, but it's sweet. It's like mac and cheese. Yeah, I'm into it. Mm -hmm. Alright, what's next? I don't know.